Tomorrow is World AIDS Day. World AIDS Day first observed in 1988 to bring attention to the HIV epidemic. ABC 7 medical contributor Dr. Okachika Alozi with Sunset West Health is here to talk about the advances in treatment of AIDS as well as some local resources. Dr. Alozi, I want to show a graphic here with three statistics on it. The number of people living with HIV, the number of new infections, and the number of deaths, and there are some promising numbers here. Yeah, so what you'll see here immediately is that a lot of people's eyes will be drawn to that sort of orangish brown um, marigold line, and they see, wow, things are going up. But that makes sense because we have these advances in the treatment of HIV that allows people to live longer. The average person living with HIV on therapy can live a normal and normal length life. And you can see that, wow, we really reduced the number of infections and deaths. Still a long way to go, but in the last 10 years especially, there's been immense progress. And as we reported yesterday here on ABC 7 at 4, the Texas Department of State Health Services says as of 2021, 2,455 residents in El Paso County live with HIV. Over 85% of them are Hispanic. Now, along with Hispanics, Dr. Alozzi, what subpopulations are most affected by HIV? Yes, yeah, so this is one of those things that we talk about often when we talk about diseases or complexes of the underrepresented, right? And that is really a question of education and socioeconomic status. And so it's African Americans and Hispanics, as you can see from that graph. Gay and bisexual men are the population most affected by HIV, but then within that is African Americans and Hispanics, unfortunately. What are the keys to helping end the HIV epidemic? The biggest key for me is testing. Right? And so once upon a time in our community, we had a vibrant testing apparatus. Most of the hospitals tested people that came in, and we were actually able to identify people that had HIV that didn't know they had HIV. And because of that, we were able to put them on medication. If you're at risk, it's also testing so that you can get tested and be on a medication called PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis that allows you to Brent, your chances of getting HIV by upwards of 90%. And that's what's called status neutral, right? Whether you're HIV negative or HIV positive, there are ways to keep undetectable, which is this slide. And really, this is the key. This is the foundational element of HIV in the 21st century, and that's undetectable equals untransmissible. If you have HIV and you take your medications correctly and your viral load is undetectable, you cannot transmit. And that, along with pre-exposure prophylaxis, is how we stop this epidemic, is how we destigmatize HIV. And again, these are the keys to the ending that epidemic. And you know, a lot of times you and I talk about a host of medical conditions, and obviously I'm a physician, but as you can tell by my voice and my energy, this is the one that I'm really passionate about, and this is where I really cut my teeth in healthcare. And as you know, right there at the top, that's the key, testing for Absolutely. HIV. So many don't get tested. Absolutely, and it's unfortunate, right? And they don't get tested for a host of reasons. One is because of ignorance, right? And whether it's on the clinician side or the patient side, people just don't know. If we can get people tested and we can destigmatize the testing, we can reduce the epidemic, we can allow people to live healthier lives. And I think that's really the key about this at the end of the day. All right, now let's look at the local resources that are available for people to get free confidential HIV testing. As we mentioned on the show yesterday, as part of World AIDS Day tomorrow, the El Paso City Department of Public Health doing free testing. 701 Montana is the location. Uh, it's a walk-in clinic that they do 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. They also do it every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And there are also um, confidential HIV tests available at the Touch Bar, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., and uh, that will be on December 3rd, plus Lafay Care Center also doing free HIV testing. Yeah, so there's a plethora of places that you can get tested, and that's not the only resources that we have in the community. We also have some other resources as well, whether it's the Purple Pages that's driven by UTEP. They've done a great job at that. People that are already living with HIV can get housing through a program called HOPWA, an organization that I work with, Southwest Viral Med, does low cost and free HIV testing across the year. And so again, we have the resources. It's really exciting to me to see where we've come from since I moved to this community in 2010, all the way up till now, 2022. And I think the important thing is get tested, get educated, and let's get people the care they deserve. ABC 7 medical contributor, Dr. Okachika Alozi, as always, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.